Okay, this video is being made to help uh, you see how we need to prop properly insert an IV cassette into an Alaris SC pump without breaking the airline transmitters. Um, this little cassette is a, is a symbolic of a regular IV tubing set. Uh, this one is being used for demonstration purposes only. For starters, you need to make sure that the flow stop is in the closed position um, for the uh, cassette to be inserted properly. Once it is opened, you take the activation lever and open it up and insert the cassette. Uh, the cassette should be held right in there by six fingers on either side. If it's not, it means the pump mechanism is broken and would need to be replaced. Um, in this fashion also, the discharge tubing needs to make sure it fits into a groove that's, that's right here in the AIL transmitter and receiver uh, in the bottom position. Uh, once that has been done uh, and the cassette's been properly inserted, all you would need to do is to close the latch properly and seeing that the AIL transmitter is now over the IV tubing. The purpose of the AIL transmitter, air, air in line, is to prevent uh, any air in line uh, in the IV tubing being sent to a patient. Once we turn the unit on, we'll set an infusion and the unit will flow. Uh, once the infusion is stopped uh, and has run out, you would need to put it on hold, power down the unit, and then open up the, uh, the with the activation lever and the cassette will pop out. And leave, it, and then uh, return the, that back to the closed position, not to damage anything further.